Well, COVID-19 cases are down to just under 1% here in Connecticut, but health officials say we cannot let our guard down just yet. The virus is still mutating. The fast spreading Delta variant first detected in India has been reported here in the state of Connecticut. Fox 61's Rachel Piscatelli spoke with an infectious disease specialist about the new variant. The mutation occurs when um, the uh, genetic code of a virus um, changes slightly. Um, and that uh, leads to changes in the um, actual virus structure itself. That change affects a few factors, like how quickly the virus can spread. And in the Delta variant, a new variation of COVID-19, it can spread quickly. The Delta variant um, has a mutation uh, that seems to make it um, what we call more transmissible. So it spreads um, more quickly, more easily. Uh, between individuals than the other variants that we've seen in the past. Connecticut's Department of Public Health say the variant has been detected in the state. We've had 35 cases that we know of in Connecticut that have uh, been of the Delta variant. We don't sequence every single positive, but we know we've had at least 35. According to health officials, this variant could cause severe symptoms and lead to more hospitalizations. Now, the concern is the populations that don't have that protection um, by not being vaccinated, that they may be more vulnerable uh, from becoming infection, infected with this particular variant because it seems to spread more easily. Viruses um, naturally mutate, um, but uh, the way to uh, prevent these mutated um, variants or the variants that have these mutations from spreading is by um, implementing our preventive measures. So vaccination being the key. Um, to ensure that, um, you know, we, we are able to sort of prevent the ongoing transmission of these um, new variants when they occur. 78% of adults 18 and older have been vaccinated in our state, which helps prevent the spread. In terms of community uh, level of uh, immunity and protection from vaccines, I think we will see that. Um, you know, here in Connecticut, where we have high rates of vaccination, um, you know, we're much less likely to see outbreaks than in a community that has um, a large um, unvaccinated population. I'm Rachel Piscatelli, Fox 61 News.